what do you make of the way your team came out today and you know put back-to-back -back performances like that? Yeah, um, shows character as well. Uh, we're beating a great team and then uh, put it in the back. Like uh, like I said earlier in the season, like if we win, not get too high, and if we lose, not get too low. Like have this consistency and. Uh, we came out to play today, and it was, it was an all-around fun game. Every line played well, and uh, yeah, they, they didn't have much. What does it mean to have that much offense come from the defensemen tonight, three defensemen scoring? Oh, great. I mean, uh, <laughs> you love to see Sigi up there. Uh, it was awesome. Boys had fun, and uh, I mean, all the other guys, too, uh, get on the board. It was great to see them get on the board. And just what does this do going into you know a three-game road trip? You're on the road for eight days. How important in that mentality is a, is a victory like this? Really important. Uh, I mean, we're playing with confidence right now, but uh, we know. like we, we had a good game today, but... It's already the next game, and uh, we're going on a big road trip, and uh, we want to keep on rolling. And uh, uh, like I said, we, it gives us uh, confidence, but uh, it's done now. Uh, we got to look forward to the next one. What is it in your system that other teams can barely get any shots off on you guys? Yeah, we're just uh, we're trying to like squeeze them as soon as possible so they can't turn back. And uh, but uh, it's just. We're, we're more in positions. Uh, we're more comfortable. We know our, exactly where to go, and uh, we're battling hard. So that's that's what we got to keep up. Nico, where, where, is, where do you feel your game is at right now? You, I mean, you're playing so well, both sides of the puck. But it, are you real satisfied with the way your game is coming around here? Obviously, yeah. Like I want to improve me as a player every year. But uh, for me, yeah, like you said, I just want to focus on my two-way game and. Uh, help the team in any way I can. Uh, if not in a score sheet, I try to help defense. So that's uh, that's my game. Um, what did Dano say to you after that ceremony of drop? He said something to you there. Well, you said thank you very much. So it was, uh, it was pretty neat. Uh, I told him congrat congratulations for, for everything. Everything, I mean, he's, he's the, one of the heads for the organization. So he's like, yeah, 40 years. I mean, it's 40 years. So uh, it's pretty crazy. So. Uh, Obviously, huge congrats to him this time. Did you expect to find uh, Zetterland in the slot there, or did you kind of look back and see him and just the way he was able to finish that? Yeah, play? I think he called for it too, so I kind of heard it, but I, I took a quick look and saw him wide open there, so I just shoveled it up there. And is that just, you know, one of his dominant forces, just the way he can get his shot off? Yeah, no, he has a great shot, and he's using it, so I tell him keep using your shot and uh, more pucks going. What about the aspect of kind of scoring by committee that you guys are doing? It's great. I mean, if you see uh, everybody scoring from forward to D, and uh, uh, it's great to see that everybody can produce. And uh, if you play the right way, that's what happened, and uh, that's exactly what happened today. We play the right way, and uh, everybody gets on the score sheet. All around, you guys have to be, you know, thrilled with the way you performed. Backing up a performance against the Avalanche with something like this. Yeah, we planned that. You know, we we want to be consistent and. Uh, yeah, we wanted to, we want to get those two points every game, and uh, I think today was just a great team effort, and everybody showed up to play. And uh, you know, it's it's all about those little details that we do right right now. Is part of those little details what you guys are doing to sort of squeeze other teams that they can't get their shots off on goal? I mean, you guys have been out shooting everyone. Yeah, that's one of them, and uh, you know, like just little details to get the puck out of the zone uh, without icing it, and uh, you know, just play smart. You know, if you have a uh, uh, tired D's, uh, forwards got to chip it in and uh, just stuff like that. As a defenseman, I'm sure you like to see uh, your fellow defensemen, including yourself, get on the board there. <laughs> yeah, it's nice that uh, a couple D men scored tonight and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll take it. Was that, you know, your first career power play goal that looked like you had that open? <laughs> well, I used to be on the power play in juniors, but uh, uh, yeah, on, in the NHL it is, yeah. And just sort of, you, you just jump on that there? You just saw it? pop out of the... Yeah, like I, I sneaked down and uh, I just saw it laying around and it bounced out and uh, I was I was right there. How important is a victory like this knowing that, you know, you're heading to Western Canada now, it's not going to be easy, a lot of travel in between, just to go in with this feeling? Yeah, it gives, uh, gives us a great feeling, you know, uh, I think we're, we're on a good uh, good route right now and uh, we want to stay on that uh, on that track and, uh, you know, we, we're going to go there and uh, play, try to play the same, same way and... Uh, yeah, as I said, we want those two points. How much has Ryan McGill kind of helped you guys settle down your, your entire game overall defensively? He's good. Like I said, he's all about those little details. Uh, uh, he, he, he repeats it on the bench, and uh, you hear it all the time. But, you know, it's kind of in your back of your head already. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's important uh, uh, for the game, and uh, I think uh, everybody does a good job with it. As a group, is it nice to see Brat 
continue this streak that he's on to start the season? Is this something you guys kind of you know rally around? Uh, yeah, I mean it's always see to uh, see your teammate uh, you know be successful, score goals, uh, help the team win, and uh, yeah, we we really, really like it uh, about Brad. And what's been the biggest difference defensively for this club this year that maybe wasn't evident last year? You know, so? uh, I think everybody you know plays their role. Uh, you know, we skate a lot. We like basically every li- r- line rush, we try to shut it down, and uh, uh, you, you know we've been uh, successful uh, so far. And uh, you know we just you know try to keep going like that. Was it nice to see your teammate come back in the game after you got hit with a stick and you scored a goal? Uh, Woody? Woody. Oh yeah, I mean yeah, that shows character. Uh, uh, yeah, he, he got hit, uh, stood up, uh, didn't give up, scored the goal, and uh, you know that shows character. How about your your buddy Vitek? I know you've known him for a long time, and just this performance that he's sort of been rolling with right now. I know you know him well. Yeah, uh, I'm happy for him. You know, uh, he had a tough first game, but uh, you know I, I knew he's going to bounce back. Uh, I know him for a long time, and. Uh, he just has the character that uh, you know he wants to win every game and uh, he wants to be at his best and uh, you can see it in practice as well and uh, you know I'm happy for him and uh, yeah he deserves it. Thanks, thanks. Linda, you talk, we talked about you know needing a response game regardless of the game before. What did you sort of make of the way your team came out today? Uh, team came out great. Uh, you know I think that win was for Daniel. Uh, we actually talked about it before the game. Uh, 40 years uh, w- with the same team, and uh, I think it pumped our D up. They got three goals tonight, so I was going to say said that. in honor of Dano. Uh, they had some of Dano's scoring touch, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what What is it in the system that is preventing your opponents from being able to really get their shots off on net that you guys are doing so well? Well, you know, it's something that we've worked hard on for you know, the past three years, the way we play. Um, I think the fact that uh, our defense our defense is bigger, mm-hmm. uh, longer reach. Um, forwards have really locked into, you know, being in lanes and good sticks. Uh, but it, it's always puck pressure. You don't see many teams able to roll around the top or roll up the walls. It's, it, it, it's a system built on constant puck pressure. And if we miss somewhere, you know, they're going to get a chance. But uh, when we're on our game, we take a lot of time away. And on the flip side of that, what are you guys doing so well to allow you, you know, so many shots tonight was 50? Yeah, well, (laughs) I think when you have that type of puck possession in the offensive zone, uh, you know, the shots go way up. We've, we've We've been really trying to make a conscious effort of, you know, funneling pucks in the net, looking for second opportunities and, um, it was it was a night where we got rewarded for some of those. I think some of our better chances didn't go in. Um, I think he made some great saves on on probably four or five plays, uh, and maybe a couple couple others that probably shouldn't go in went in. But yeah, if I looked at his game, um, really incredible incredible saves, and then um, we got a little bit of puck luck at times. Lindy, the the start for Jesper. Nine games in, is is his point streak something that you know? I know it's a point streak and it's all about team play and everything. But is this something you can rally around to? I, I'm still going to point to team play. That you know we're we've been good with uh, four lines with everybody contributing. Um, he's he scored a couple nice goals. He's been on been in on making some nice plays. Uh, you know, I thought his goal was a heck of a play to get it over to him. Uh, I think the thing we have to rally around is our is our team play, um, not one individual. Um, you know, not goaltending. Let's just rally around our team play and and keep pushing forward. How impressed have you been with Nico's game this year? Two way game. Uh, you know, I, I, I've said this. You know, I saw a part late in the year of Nico that, you know, I said, uh, you know, I've always wanted to see the real Nico, and I think. What we're seeing is is the best of Nico. Uh, you know, impressive face-off night against Colorado, uh, and then again tonight, uh, getting in on the first couple of goals and scoring the goal he did, uh, being on the ice for the four and four goal there late in the period. So, a uh, lot. I mean, there's a lot of good, a lot of good stuff. I mean, he's he's really 
he's really taken this leadership leadership thing to a you know to a whole new level, and he he is the guy that I think everybody's looking to. And and finally, for me, Lindy, uh, for this team to make possibly make that playoff push, um, just talk to the importance in, in putting together streaks like this, three wins, four wins, getting points to, to maintain, you know, in there in the Metro. Well, we, we talked about what the conference looks like before the game tonight. There was only one team that was under 500, which meant we were really only a, like a game away from everybody else. We're still, if you look at it, uh, Columbus is only the team, the only team that's under 500. Um, and you've got to get points when you can. Uh, you've got to put streaks together, and you've got to make sure you don't fall into that rut where you know you end up having three or four that go the wrong way on you. Similarly, Lindy, in games last year, it seemed like um, the guys were content with getting a lead but weren't continuously pushing for a lead. This year, I feel like it's totally different. They don't just want to win, but they want to win with emphasis. Is there anything that you could pinpoint as to the cause of that? Uh, locked into really playing our game uh, and just playing it shift after shift. And I think that just, uh, I can just say team game again. If the, you know, if you roll out the lines and everyone is, is playing the same and, and everyone is tracking back and taking ice and time away uh, and you get in on the four check and you trust your four check and you, and you, you back your D up when they're involved. I think, you know, our D are heavily involved. And if you don't back them up, I think that's what went wrong last year a few times. So I think the, the personnel, some of the personnel changes have helped our team. Um, you know, adding, adding a couple defensemen, veteran defensemen. Uh, if you look at, you know, the forwards up front, have done a great job of replacing the D when they're involved in the offensive zone. I think that's probably been the biggest difference. Coach, you've mentioned the team play and how important it is. 13 different players recorded a point tonight. Can you just comment on you know, just the, the team play in general, and the, just the depth on this roster. I mean, 13 different players scoring points. Well, you know, again, we we harped on we need a we need a solid game. You know, after playing a, a pretty emotional game against Colorado and not taking these guys for granted, and I think to a man, um, there really wasn't a time in the game that I was worried that you know the game was going to go the other way. Even our penalty killing was extremely strong. Lindy, I was going to ask you that too. You know, um, obviously the the early struggles, and and now that you guys are are rolling, uh, what has the last fifteen days or so, uh, however long the season's been, looked like from your perspective? Well, our, our early struggles were really with uh, our inability to score, um, and I know we gave up. Uh, you know, probably the, the Philly game, we gave up too many opportunities. The Detroit game didn't give up a lot, but we didn't finish. And, and now we're starting to finish, and, and we're playing a, a good game away from the puck. But, you know, you look at every game, and even looking at the Colorado game, we talked about, you know, the areas we need to improve. We, we showed clips yesterday of, you know, this is where we need to get better. Um, talked about the offensive part of it, supporting each other, being more connected. Uh, Coach, what goes into, or what was the thought process on the, the, the power play connecting now in two straight games? What are you seeing there? Uh, I mean, you look at some of the opportunities our power play missed tonight, and then I hate to say that, but Siegenthaler scores on the power play. <laughs> I mean, that's a rare call by the announcer. <laughs> so, I, you know, I think you know we just wanted to we wanted to you know play it smart at the end, have two defensemen on the ice, and that I mean the, the group ahead of them should have scored, and they didn't. Uh, and what went into the thought process to give Vanacek a second start in a row? <laughs> the donut he picked.